How's it going, Pokemon trainers? Trainer Connor here, and it's time for a Wi-Fi Pokemon battle video. Thank you for sticking around for a whole week without Wi-Fi battle videos, guys, because I've been out of town, and um, it was quite stressful, to be honest. And then I spent two extra days hanging out with my friends when I got back. So, you know, you have that going on and you don't have time to narrate a Wi-Fi battle. You just have to do what's more important, right? But now I'm back. Expect some uploads here on out for a few weeks. So, that's a thing. Anyway, so today's battle here uh, is against Leo, one of my great rivals on Twitter. Now, I'm using a kind of an interesting game because uh, this is an OU match. I got to use um, Defog Lockheos. I've never had a Defog Lockheos before. And to pair up with Lockheos, I'm bringing Ferrothorn, Magmortar, Scarf Crocodile, Sinchino, and Vaporeon. The main threats on Leo's team are going to be Porygon Z, Dragonite, and Altaria, maybe Cloyster if Cloyster has the ability to set up Shell Smash. That would be extremely difficult to cope with. But if I can get up my Stealth Loss with Ferrothorn, then this Focus Sash will be broken and I can revenge kill with my Scarf Crocodile for cleanup. So I'm gonna start with Emperor X. That way I can get my Stealth Ox. He actually goes with Torquera for the start. Goes for Earthquake. That's not going to do much to my defensive uh, Ferrothorn. So I'm going to get my Stealth Ox, expecting another Earthquake. I'm going to go into Lockheos to dodge it. But he goes for his own layer of Stealth Ox here. That's fine. Um, the cost of Defog is that it will get rid of all of our engine hazards. So mine included. That's kind of the trade-off. But I expected uh, Florges to come in. So I go for Psyshock and man, that does a lot of damage. He goes for, and I kind of question this, he goes for a lot of Protects. Of course, Protect has a 50% chance of working after the second turn. And he gets up to two turns so I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen I think he was trying to sac sacrifice Forges there uh, but that was odd uh, he really should have attacked me there but I guess I would have taken him out so that's fine uh, we're able to knock out the Forges no problems at all and now I'm expecting this Altaria to mega evolve I go into Emperor X again, just for the type of matchup, um, but after this turn, Mega Altaria will also be me and just finish me off with a Heat Wave. We're able to take the Hyper Voice that he goes for right now relatively well because I resist it, but Heat Wave four times a week, that's going to finish off Emperor X. I was going to go for a Thunder Wave to slow him down. That way it's easier to handle. But that's fine. I go into Vaporeon afterwards. Unfortunately for me, he has Sing. And I say that because Sing is not very accurate. And he actually hits it. Now I wasn't sure if... See, he has Dream Eater. And it doesn't do that much, but if I sleep for like a couple more turns, things can get a little bit ugly. But I do wake up on the first turn and I go for Ice Beam. Because I'm not fully invested in attack, um, Ice Beam will not do that much. So I'm going to switch out and I actually go in a Magmortar Magnum here and I severely underestimated Magmortar's ability to take a hit. Uh, it's a Kuka KO from Hyper Voice coming from a Mega Altaria, which is a little bit sad. I was really sad to see that happen. 
I do manage to get a little bit more damage with Fire Blast. This way I can go into Sandyville, the Crocodile. And uh, because I'm sure Scarf, I will outspeed him. He would outspeed me otherwise if I didn't have a choice scarf. So this is great. I get my Stone Edge to hit and I get my Bossy Boost. Because the Stealth Offs are up, I mentioned this earlier, the Focus Sash is gone. So Coyster is going to get knocked out. So no Shell Smash shenanigans from Coyster. I get my next Mossy Boost and um, Porygon Z is coming out. And I didn't know if it was Scarfed or not. If it were Scarfed, you might have a Speed Tie or wherever, but I just don't speak him and I get to knock him out. Which, uh, I don't understand why he had to sacrifice three Pokemon like that, because he has Torterra, which dodges the Stone Edge. I wasn't sure, I wasn't really sure if he knew that I was Scarf or not, but he got my number there. So I get to switch out of here, going to Lockheos, expecting a Wood Hammer, and it actually does a lot of damage. Um, it's also a 2 hit KO. Torterra is such a monster. I should probably train one. Um, I already have one trained back in black and white, but I want to use one that is a full powerhouse, like a max HP and max attack variant. I'll think about it. But Torterra is going to just wreck my world here. I do manage to hit a defog. All of our Skullfoss are gone, but that's fine. I just wanted to use it. Um, it's going to help me out with my own Pokemon, so fun times abound. I go into uh, Vaporeon, and the reason I did that, even though uh, Vaporeon is weak to Woodhammer here, uh, is super effective, I go for Skull, and I get the burn, and that's exactly what I go for. And um, it will make things a lot easier for me. Yeah, I do have other Pokemon that will uh, take care of Torterra easily, but I just want to have a little bit of style points, you know. Let's put a little bit of style into it. So, what I'm going to do here is, since Woodhammer does recoil damage to Torterra, I'm going to risk off, or rest up rather, all of my HP, and because I have a lot of HP investment, I'm expecting this Torterra to go down to the recoil in the next few turns here. So this is going to work out fantastically because in the end, we're going to get a double down. So he goes for, well, I do stay up, stay asleep rather. Wow. And uh, he goes for another wood hammer. This is going to take me out because another critical hit. I don't know how many critical hits you have in this battle, but that was probably a third in a row there. And we get a double down because the recoil is going to take him out. I go to this slick back, this Sinchino, and this thing is slick as heck. Wow, that was that was actually really good. Um, but this particular Sinchino uh, is carrying a silk scarf, so I can switch up my moves. Here I knew the multi-scale was in effect for Dragonite, so the Rock Blast will not take him out, and Sinchino is really frail to begin with. So we're gonna lose Sinchino, but that's fine because we're going to revenge kill with Sandyville with another outrage attack. So that was a great battle. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully the narration wasn't too good. And yeah, so that was a great battle. Uh, thank you, Leo. And uh, hope you guys stay tuned for more Wi-Fi battles. And I will see you next time. All right, have a great week.